Hey gang, it's me, your teacher Aaron. Uh, so, uh, in class the other day, we were kind of met with this moment of trouble when we were thinking about how to mic um, yourself if you were filming. Uh, we came to the conclusion that most of the mic techniques you might use are going to be inadequate and you would probably have to do an overdub. And that was kind of sad. And I don't want you to be sad. So uh, I came to a solution for this problem. And it's very available if you have some phone that maybe records your voice, uh, preferably a smartphone and an Apple headset. Um, uh, so I've got these things. Here is an Apple headset. And, and here is the, my phone. And so basically, uh, on your phone, you probably have a voice recording function. I've got one on mine. And you would find it and record with it. This is what mine looks like, it's a little microphone. And the key to this is, is that when you're filming, you can actually create a DIY body mic because on these Apple headsets is this little thing right here. It's attached to one of the earpieces. And if you put this on your, your clothes, if you'll see there's a little, little dot in one part of it right there. And that is a microphone. It's an omnidirectional mic, uh, similar to what you might find on the movies. So you would just snake this up, put it in a convenient spot, like for me right here, and use something like a paper clip to attach it. And then once it's there, you can just hook in the, uh, the microphone to your phone and start recording. But now the catch to this is, if you're recording on your phone like this, um, and you're recording video in another spot, like on this, uh, you're going to need to synchronize the, the two things. And so um, the way to do that is to create a basically a snap moment, like, you know, on films you get that, like, uh, open-shut thing. Um, that bang it makes when you close it, uh, they use in production afterwards to basically synchronize the sound and the movie at the same time. So you would want to synchronize those two things. So what I'll do is I will record myself on this after this point, make that sound, and then show you um, on, on iMovie how to synchronize this with the rest of my voice in a screencast, which will be a little weird and trippy, but hopefully it will work. Um, so anyways, I'm just going to hit record, and this will be, you know, just the regular record button. And now I'm recording. This is picking up my voice through the microphone on my shirt. And, you know, we can simulate the sound of one of those things. I don't know with what. Uh, I'll have to use something around my desk. Um, here is a ruler and a board. And so I will go. And so now that there's that common point, I can start poking around. Uh, you will see me editing my voice, and you'll see me waving and talking and doing the things that you're seeing me doing right now. But I will be adding the video in real time and kind of probably over-narrating to explain how I am doing that. Okay, uh, we're back, looking at my desktop now, and I've got iMovie open. Uh, my face is clearly in a weird position here, and um, I'm gonna show you how to add that audio that we recorded on my phone into the video that we recorded here. Uh, for starters, I selected this little bit where I clip the board, uh, and I'll play that back just so you see what I'm working with. Uh, my goal is to sync things up to the point where I snap the, the, the ruler on the board. And I'll, I'll play this back. Play. Ruler and the board. And so I'll go. And so now that there's that common point, I can start poking around. Uh, you'll see me in my voice, and you'll see me waving and talking and doing. So I'm going to sync the other audio track that isn't attached to the video up to this. Because when you record your video, uh, most likely you won't be this close to a microphone, and you won't have the benefit of having a microphone. Uh, so you're going to want this this well manipulatable audio and this audio comes from that uh, mic that you have attached to your shirt. So first we're going to detach the audio from this clip and that's really easy. We'll go edit and detach audio. And this audio comes up and we'll, we'll dump that in the garbage. Uh, got all these options. So many options. Um, I'll just hit the delete button. There we go. It's all gone. If I play this back, it's silent. See? It's like a mime thing. Okay, and then the other thing I'm going to do is I've got my DIY mic, which I just sent myself from my phone after I recorded uh, the mic on it. 
and I'm going to drag that over here, and it's going to pop up. So now that's attached, but it's not in sync. So here's what happens when I play it back. And now I'm recording. This is picking up my voice through the microphone on my shirt. Which is not what we want. We want that click to, to snip, snap to that click. So to do that, we're going to go open up something called the Precision Editor in iMovie, and we're going to basically align these two points. So the way to do that is to click on this and click on this little toolbox, and the option Precision Editor comes up. Here's the toolbox, Precision Editor. So this is the movie. This is the clip, but they're not synced. So now we're going to want to edit the audio, so I'm going to double click on the audio region, the green up here. And then it's just audio. So now I have to find that clip and pause it, because I want that to be the entry point to the clip. We can, once everything is synced, we can edit the clip further. And, so, and, you know, we can simulate just watching... One of those things, I don't know with what, uh, I have to use something around my desk. Um, here is a ruler and a board. And so, I will go... Right there. That is the point where the snap happens. Clip, 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 clip. So I am going to basically make this the starting point of the selection. This is when it all starts. Clip. And that should have done. So now when I play back my video from the start, it'll sound like this. But my video is still not up to date, so I'm going to want to sync this up so this starts when the clip happens. So I've got to trim a little out of here. So right there, let's take that out. So now when we play it back, and so now that there's that common point, I can start poking around, uh, you will see me editing my voice. Still not perfect, let's zoom in a little, see if we can get a little better. Uh, we'll go all the way up here, and... The sound should actually start right at that point. So let me trim the clip down to there. Right there. Take that out. Cut. And now we'll play. And so now that there's that common point, I can start poking around. Uh, you will see me editing my voice, and you'll see me waving and talking and doing the things that you're seeing me doing right now. But I will be adding the video in real time and kind of probably over-narrating to explain how I am doing that. Uh, hopefully this won't turn out to be a complete mess. Uh, thanks for tuning in. And I hope to see you using this if you want a covert way to mic people that's pretty uh, cheap and DIY. Later. So, uh, as you can see, that's how uh, you basically do it. Uh, it's all lined up now, and if you had recorded it on your, your, your iPhone's uh, headphones, you'll have an awesome recording. Uh, at this point, you would take this, and you would want to make this a new piece of media, so you would go to share, export the movie into a movie file, and then if you're using multiple clips, you would then re-import them into iMovie and work with them as you edit but this at least is a better audio recording than you would get using your computer's microphone or your camera's microphone. Thanks for watching.